Hi, how you doing? Um, this video is just about making <clears throat> the statement that needs to be said out there. Like, have you ever noticed that the like conservative Republican Christian thinking type people they make this statement really often that's uh, just completely ridiculous. They they make themselves sound. They say the the way of the Lord is the straight and narrow. Don't follow the majority, when in reality they're the, the, the majority. You know, it's like, like for example, I'll, I'll link a video on this about that this Christian did about witchcraft, saying witchcraft is on the rise in America. There's all these, every, the, every you know, the, they're seeing a, a rise in the number of witches and the number of this and the number of that and Christian witches and all this stuff, you know. And, but yeah. There, there may be a rise, that's, you know, they're saying, but don't follow the majority, you know, it's like, just because there's a rise in something doesn't mean that it's the majority. For a perfect example is, is LGBT people. You know, they're, they're like, the whole world's becoming transgender and or lesbian and gay and God hates gays and all this stuff like that, you know. Don't follow the majority, you know, what are they so worried about? We're not the majority, we're like 5%. You can look it up, like, like, like us transgender people, we're like, like, we're just a very small little fraction of the people, you know? We're not taking over the world, there's hardly any of us out there. LGBT people in general, we're, I, I just recently saw a statistic, we're like 5% of the population. That's not the majority, you know, um, and it's, it's the same with witchcraft too, you know, it's the same with a lot of things. They, they make, you know, it's because if you read the book of Revelations, you know, which is the, the book in their, in their Bible, the book in their scriptures that describes the, these, the last days, you know, there's Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 10 kind of sheds some light. But that's also about the days of the apostles. And the book of Revelations, actually a third of the Bible, the book of Daniel has some stuff, Jeremiah, Isaiah. A third of the Bible is talking about, uh, is prophecies about concerning these days, the last days, the spiral times. But, um, but the book of Revelations, if you study it very close, you know, the bad guy is, is them. They're the bad guy, you know, they're the bad guy in their own book. It's kind of, it's kind of funny actually, but so just because they try to trick you and say, don't follow the majority and all that, just, you know, open your eyes. Don't take my word for it either. Just open your eyes. You know, who, who is the majority? You know, I mean, you know, what are they so worried? And then when you realize that, that it's not what they say, you know, analyze, you know, like, you know, like, why are they, what are they so worried about, you know, you know, um, because like it says, you know, because he knows the time is short, let his number be known, it's a human number, 666, you know, the narcissist epidemic, the 666 is the mark on the forehead, that's your thinking, the mark on your hand, and that's your doing, if you're thinking the philosophy of 666 and doing it, you're 666. And that's the narcissist epidemic. A narcissist doesn't have the ability to put on another person's shoes. They have no empathy or compassion. And they see everything through their perspective and nothing's their fault. So it's 666.